What's happening today in the American universities and why the American police are trying to suppress the voice of the American students in key American universities? The American students of the different American universities got aware of the truth. The truth that the Palestinian people are suffering under the Zionist regime occupation. The truth that the Zionist regime is committing genocide against the Palestinians, particularly in the Gaza Strip, with support from the American administration. The American students realized that their voice must be for Palestine, must be for Gaza, and must be for justice. And that's why they decided to have encampments in their universities, mainly in the University of Columbia, and to challenge the police and the American administration decision to prevent them from expressing their solidarity with the children of Gaza and to express their voice for justice, peace, and the humanity. It was not a surprise to see the American police attacking the students of Columbia University and other universities in the United States because we all saw how the American Congress summoned the presidents of these universities and forced them to utter what has been conceived by the students and by the faculty of the universities as inconceivable and unreasonable because it's impossible to use the concept of anti-Semitism to criminalize the people who raise their voice for justice and for the protection of the children of Gaza who are being murdered every day by the Israeli shelling and by the Israeli bombs. We hope that the voice of the American university students is going to be an international voice and all universities in Europe, North America, Latin America, the Arab world would form a student movement for justice, not only for the Palestinian people, but for all the oppressed peoples on earth.